them fight crime. ABC 2 News' Don Harrison went along for the ride today for a different perspective of law enforcement. This is not a helicopter, but it looks like one. It's actually a gyroplane. It may technically be a plane, but it has all the advantages and more of a helicopter. We like to say it can do 90% of what a helicopter can do at about 10% the cost. That's what Michael Lachey with the Department of Justice says. They supplied this aircraft to the Queen Anne's County Police thanks to a federal grant. These smaller two-seater aircraft have many advantages, mainly the cost. A larger size helicopter we're used to seeing, like a medevac, would cost about $4 million. This gyroplane with a camera surveillance system cost about $100,000. A typical helicopter can cost anywhere between $1,000 to $3,000 an hour to operate. This aircraft behind us, its typical operation expense is about $25 per hour. Those lower costs make it feasible to fly more missions and longer ones. It's a perfect fit for Maryland. We think of Maryland as sort of a populous state, but in reality, it's sort of a really a rural state. I mean, you have big cities that are surrounded by rural areas, and it's the rural areas that lack the, the aviation resources that are greatly needed by, some of these, by, the, by law enforcement. This small plane can cover quite an area. So, I mean, you could basically cover the entire eastern shore twice without having to land before getting fuel. Bill Shepling flies this for the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office. He's flown larger Bell Jet Rangers for Anne Arundel County, but he really likes flying these. Uh, I compare it to a little um, small German sports car. We can see a lot of detail that can't be seen from the ground, especially searches for uh, missing persons or someone we're chasing. Queen Anne's County and other police agencies here on the Eastern Shore hope to have other aircraft available to them in the near future from a small plane down to a powered parachute. On Kent Island, Don Harrison, ABC2 News.